Thank you. Mr. Chair, while I will be unable to support the NDAA if it includes a provision that would derail offshore wind production, I thank the Chair for crafting a bill that continues to orient our military strategy towards the Indo-Pacific and for including three of my amendments. The first amendment requires an independent evaluation of the Pentagon's procurement practices to ensure that, in keeping with the law, it drives a harder bargain with the commercial sector. The Pentagon's price tag is too high, in large measure, because the bureaucracy too often pays for process, not performance. My second amendment would encourage the DOD to use innovative housing production companies to build multifamily homes for active service members. This will bring down housing and energy costs for military families, while also spurring innovative housing development models that will benefit the wider economy. My third amendment would help establish a process for alerting service members about exposure to PFAS so that they may get the care they need. Again, it is my hope that this spurs best practices for wider adoption as Americans in Massachusetts and beyond grapple with the fallout from PFAS exposure. I yield back.